Boy, we had some wild weather yesterday. Yeah, it was certainly a busy afternoon and evening in the Weather Center. And, of course, we had that very strong storm over toward the Portales area. Let's go ahead and take a look at that storm. This is actually a picture wow. about an hour or so before the storm actually got toward Portales. Oh uh, our meteorologist in the morning, Kristen Van Dyke, went storm chasing yesterday, took along one of our photographers, Terrence Seaman. And this is a shot that they got. This is just absolutely spectacular stuff. And you can really see the anatomy of a severe thunderstorm. You can see the rain shaft right here. You can even pick out a rainbow here. And this is before the storm made it toward Portales. So it's in the process of developing that anvil shape that we typically see with tornadic storms and of course the National Weather Service now in the area doing some damage survey to see what kind of damage they have and this in fact verify whether or not we did in fact have a tornado in that area last night. This afternoon we are still looking for some thunderstorms in the eastern part of the state so we still have that chance over the Sacramento mountains of picking up a storm or two. Relative humidities will still be on the elevated side because we still have a little bit of moisture in the eastern part of the state but as we move into the next couple of days we start to dry things out. Relative humidities go to around 10 to 20 percent tomorrow down to 5 to 10 percent on Friday so we will start, definitely start to see things dry out. Winds not being too bad. We're looking at 10 to 20 mile per hour winds for Thursday and Friday as they continue the firefight down in the Sacramento mountains. Right now in the metro, mostly sunny skies and temperature right now very warm, 85 degrees, a calm wind, relative humidity around 20 percent. So you can see that we're already starting to dry out in the metro area. And temperatures over the north are anywhere from 69 in Las Vegas into the 70s over other locations in the northern mountains, 90 degrees in Socorro, and we're in the 90s in a good portion of the southwest already, 91 in Alamogordo, 90 in TRC as well as Stimming. A little bit cooler down toward the southeastern part of the state, 81 in Roswell, 85 in Carlsbad. But the temperatures here will start to really boost over the next couple of days as we continue to dry out. Wind speeds right now a little bit elevated across the eastern part of the state and that's where we'll see the gustier winds across the east once again today as we have a chance for more thunderstorms in the eastern part of the state. But again, we're not looking for as many to be on the severe side this afternoon. Definitely some good news there. Some cloud cover across the southern portion of the state. More sunshine as you head over the north. And again, we're going to continue with that chance. Yesterday we had that strong storm chance in the eastern part of the state and we actually saw that pan out yesterday afternoon. But as we move into to today, you'll see that we'll start to dry things out as we have a storm out to the west. That's actually going to push some dry air from the south and west, and that's going to limit our storm chances to the far eastern part of the state for this afternoon. And again, we won't see as many severe storms this afternoon, but one or two could still be on the strong side through the afternoon hours. Then for Thursday, we continue to push the moisture out. We go mostly sunny across a good portion of the state as dry air continues to take over. But that drier air is short lived because that same storm system that dries us out actually sags down to the south and they'll tap into more of a southerly flow and we get what looks like a monsoon flow over the weekend. It's not quite a monsoon flow because we don't have a heat low out to the west but nonetheless we have a low out to the west high out to the east and that's going to give us a better chance of seeing some more wetting rains over the weekend. Now we have one model that wants to do this but we also have another model that's not saying that it's going to do it so much. So we're going to keep an eye on the models over the next couple of days, at least right now. We're going to keep our hopes high for some rain over the weekend. Over the Sun, Colorado for today, temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s with mostly sunny skies, a chance of storms as we move into Sunday and Monday. Over the northwest, we'll see temperatures in the 80s and 90s with lots of sunshine. We'll have that storm chance on Saturday before going dry again early next week. Over the southwest, we'll see breezy conditions with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. In Silver City, we'll be in the 80s over the next couple of days with storm chances on Saturday and Sunday. Over the southeast, we'll see temperatures here into the mid to upper 90s. We warm up to the triple digits for tomorrow, and then another chance of showers and storms late in the week and into the weekend. Over the northeast, we'll see temperatures here into the 80s and 90s with a mix of sun and clouds. More thunderstorms for today, but fewer for Thursday and Friday. Then another chance of some showers and storms over the weekend. Northern mountains, partly cloudy skies with a few storms around. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s. We'll stay in the mid 80s for Santa Fe with better chances of showers and storms over the weekend and then drying out again early next week. East mountains, partly cloudy skies with isolated showers and storms, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. The metro will see temperatures in the low 90s with mostly sunny skies. And even the metro will get a chance of seeing a few showers and storms as we move toward the upcoming weekend before drying out again early next week. And remember, you can continue to get weather updates throughout the afternoon at KRQE John on Twitter and meteorologist John Smith on Facebook. Facebook friends with you. Yes. Huh? <laughs> All right. Thanks, John.